Hi everybody, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 21-22 Panini Elite Basketball. Six box, half case, pick your team number 20. Um, second half of the case that we busted open, I think with Jason Jaspie over the weekend. Over my weekend, that is. Some of your, some of your weekend still going on. Happy Sunday. So big thanks to everybody here. We don't have any more Elite Basketball to repost for the time being. There's a good chance we may get some more at some point this week, but for now, that is that. So here it is, the final six boxes. Thanks, everybody, for making this happen. Oliver, welcome. Yes, if you're in this break just in time, yeah, Oliver's got the kings in this one. But we've got more basketball on the site. If you want to keep going with some hoops, we are down to, what, the last quarter or so of the basketball season? So it should be a pretty exciting finish to the season and a great time to collect uh, to collect basketball. Especially this current draft class. You start seeing some of these youngsters in the playoffs. If they do well, that's going to be a good thing. You know, and I'm really glad that we are. I'm really glad that we have this have this current draft class right here as we're getting closer to the end of the season. Because usually, you know, I mean, because we know who the who the rookies to chase now are. A lot of times, I think the pandemic and just supply chain issues really just pushed back the schedule for for a lot of companies and a lot of breaks and a lot of product releases. So usually we start getting this brand new basketball in like the fall. But then we're only, what, a couple, a month or two into the season. We really don't know what the new draft class is going to do. So I guess the sort of blessing in disguise is that we're getting this product later in the season when we've already seen, you know, who's having a hot rookie year, who's not. So far it, seems, it feels like a lot of the rookies Feels like a lot of the rookies are doing um, a pretty great job. So hopefully that trend continues. Good luck, everybody. All card ship. This really makes it look like it's a super fractor, but it's not. It's still a low number, though. One out of ten, Blake Griffin for the Nets. That's going to be for Rick T and the Brooklyn Nets. And this is sort of a longer break too, so we'll do a we'll do a recap at the end of this break as well. About a 35, 40 minute break. That sucks. This must have happened in the manufacturing process. But I'm sure there'll be more of those cards in here somewhere. All the rookies are numbered. 971 out of 999. Joshua Primo for the Spurs, Rick T in the Spurs. Which actually makes these rookie cards kind of valuable. More than you would think. And there's Scotty Barnes, nice. 57 out of 99. So last time we did this break was a couple days ago. Last time I did this break was a couple days ago. And people were saying that just getting this Scotty Barnes rookie card, and all rookies are numbered. This is for Jeffrey. People are saying that pretty much like three quarters of your break spot, if not all of your break spots taken care of. So that's how valuable those rookie cards can be. And 
the short print, which generally falls one per case, is Kevin Durant. Dimensions insert for Rick and the Nets. And a redemption. And an Alvin Hayes. Impact Impressions autograph for John McCall. Here you go, John. All right, good luck. It's like playing poker. Congrats to, congrats to the Jalen Johnson owner. Sorry, I don't remember where Jalen Johnson ended up. But you got a pen pals autograph, Jalen Johnson, who was your 20th overall pick for the Atlanta Hawks out of Duke. So that'll be for Edwin with the ATL. And a free top loader, Edwin. All right, next box. Yeah, Logan, a Jalen Green rookie card would be pretty nice too. I think relative to what your spot is, what the cost of your spot is, big or small, I'm pretty sure most of these rookies will cover a good chunk of, of, the, uh, of the spot. Like, for example, that Josh Primo. I don't think the Spurs are really a, a pricey team, per se. But, yeah, the Spurs are only $40, I want to say. But that Josh Primo might go for, like, 15 20 bucks. So that's already half the, that's already half the spot right there. And then, if, of course, if you get to the pricier teams with the with the more higher t higher level rookies, you know they might they might cover more of the spot. And if you get something lower than out of nine ninety nine, that could that could be pretty good for a lot of teams. So next time we get some more elite, snap up your teams as quickly as possible. Well, we got a lot of other basketball on the site. So pop over to jazbeescasebreaks.com and uh, check it out. box good luck and we got another rookie Herbert Jones 663 out of 999 Pelicans that's gonna be for Rick T so yeah all the all all those rookies are worth looking up especially the names that don't seem as big it's worth looking up checking out what they do on the secondary market in a lot of cases it's usually good news there's Darius Baisley die cut to 99 for OKC Sean Maddox I'm sure there are exceptions to the rule, but you get the idea. We got Jaden Springer, Sixers, Josh Proust with Philadelphia. Nice one, Josh. And we got Warriors, Dallas, Mavs at Warriors on the background. I think Warriors are cruising at the moment. Yeah, 
And Warriors are up 20, 68-48 on the visiting Mavs. And the Warriors still have this guy expected to come back, right? And this guy expected to come back. Do they even need these guys? They're beating Dallas by 20. Come on, they don't need those guys. There's Terry Rozier, 11 out of 49 for Brian Watford and Charlotte. Buzz City. Bzzz. And we got a Davion Mitchell autograph. There you go, Oliver, with the Sacramento Kings. And our last half case break for the time being on jazpyscasebreaks.com. There it is. Oliver, one of our resident Kings fans, of course. We've got a few here. Nice. There it is. There you go, Oliver. Oliver's happy. He's been chasing that guy. There's still enough boxes, Oliver, where we may find like a, a rookie card of his. Yeah, that would be nice, too. There you go, Oliver. We, we, of the 20 cases, or the 20 breaks that we've had, how many of you bought into? Maybe half? Maybe more than that? And there's David Johnson for the Raptors, rookie card, 185 out of 199. And that'll be for Jeffrey. Yeah, about half, right? Yeah, 10 of the 20 breaks. Oliver has gotten the Kings. And if you, if you get your at-bats in, this, this back is much better. If you get your at-bats in, hey, you're going to get some hits. All right, next box. I think Kings played last night, fell to the Nuggets by five, but how did... Davion Mitchell do. Not well. Just 12 minutes, no points, a couple rebounds and assists, but he's still young. Deer and Fox played well. Harrison Barnes with 24 points, though. All right. No Rockets yet. Come on, Logan. We're only two boxes in, man. We got to play to the whistle. We can't stand for, we can't tolerate that kind of talk until like <laughs> the last couple boxes of a case or the last box of a case. And even then, you got to play to the whistle. Yeah, Nick, and I think, I don't know, does it seem like better than last year's Elite? Or maybe they configured it or... did I don't think they did the rookies are only out of 999, which I thought, which I think is a really good idea. I think that was, is this the first year you've done that? And all the products kind of blend together at some point, or all the years, different years blend together at some point. But, but yeah, I think they did a good job of this. Just real clean, simple design. Really good idea with the with the out of nine ninety nine rookies, which makes it a little bit harder to chase. But if you hit one, you know it's going to be it's a good chase. You know, secondary market value seems to be pretty pretty solid. I know Elite's not necessarily a top tier product like Prism or Select or whatever, but I think the, I think as the years go on, I think those rookie to 999 should do pretty well, especially after people start getting them graded too. 
Celtics beat the Pistons 113 to 104. Hawks hosting the Raptors. Uh, wow, blew them out by 27, 127 to 100. This looks like a 90s scoreline here. Cavs beat the Wizards 92 to 86. Heat beat the Spurs 133 to 129. And Grizzlies knocked out the Bulls 116 to 110. Well, not, these are all yesterday's scores. Check that. Today, Hornets hosting the Pistons, 101 to 96. Oh, it was Sixers beat the Knicks, 125 109. Jazz beat the Suns, 118 114. Pacers blew out the Celtics, 128 to 107. We'll take a look at the active games in the next box. My Lakers coming up a little bit late tonight. For most of you on national television, ESPN, I will be most likely watching it on the local network if those games are available. And we've got another Scotty Barnes. Nice. 753 out of 9.99. Yeah, Hollywood, it's it's not easy to hit. Really, not in any group break. That's what, that's what makes it challenging. 73 out of 99, Kawhi Leonard. G-Lo, what's going on? Kawhi for the Clippers, Jonathan. Goes to Hollywood. And we got a die cut, OG Anuobi. It's like 48 out of 97 for Jeffrey in Toronto. And a second Scotty Barnes, too. Congrats, a little dino DNA. And we've got one for the Bulls, Ayo Desunmu. Leo with Chicago. is pretty good. Breaking news. We got a Josh Christopher for the Houston Rockets, 24 out of 99. Rookie blue for Logan. And there's a Tyrese Halliburton, 58 out of 99. I think... Uh, Jeremy Harder, our resident Pacers fan, was kind of happy about how the team's been constructed. Halliburton had 22 points, 4 rebounds, 9 assists, a steal, a block, plus 11 on the plus minus. We had a rookie Chris Warte with 11 points in 26 minutes, too. And a Lugans Dort. Impact Impressions. That will be for Sean Maddock and OKC. I think they're getting SGA back soon, right? If not already. All right, we are halfway through this half case break. All right, so once again, yeah, Pacers taking care of business. 28, 128 to 107 over the Celtics. They scored 35 points in the fourth quarter to the Celtics is 25. Um, Suns dropping a rare two in a row. Jazz beat the Suns 118 to 114. 
Sixers taking care of business, scoring 34 points in the fourth quarter to the Knicks is only 20 points, 125 to 109 over the Knicks in New York. You know, Warriors are cruising right now. They're up 76-57 on the Mavs. Mavs, Mavs got to get things together here. Let's make a game out of it, Mavs. It's a national TV game. And uh, Clippers at Rockets. They're in the fourth quarter. Four minutes left in the fourth, 92-91. Five minutes left in the fourth in Charlotte. Hornets are up by a few points, 103-100 on the Pistons. I think the Nuggets game just started. Nuggets are in Portland. They're only a couple minutes in. What's up, Rex? Happy Sunday. I am doing well. Schedule's feeling a little off today. I woke up early. <laughs> Really early for me, anyway. I woke up early to watch a Liverpool Cup final match. And then fell back asleep and kind of overslept. And that just threw my entire day off. I'm doing well, but just scheduling feels a little off right now. All right. Next box, let's keep going. And there's a Brandon Boston Jr. die cut, 94 out of 88. Rookie die cut for Jonathan Hollywood and the clip show. And we got a Donovan Mitchell. We saw a Davion earlier. Here's Donovan, 34 out of 49. Kyle and the Jazz. Jazz playing some good hoops lately. We got for the Warriors, impact impressions. We got an old school player here. That's Purvis Short. It's for Edwin and the Warriors. That's right, it is a first world problem. Well, sleeping in, sleeping too much? Maybe, I don't think I slept enough, really. I, think I was up too late, woke up too early. Try to catch a little extra shot eye, that didn't work. Oh, it's all thrown off. Four oh eight out of nine ninety nine. Sharif Cooper for the Hawks. That'll be for Edwin in Atlanta. Yeah, I know. It looks like looks like the baseball season. I don't know. Personally, I wasn't too optimistic about it, but I hope maybe there'll be a miracle tomorrow. When and if they get together. There's Desmond Bain. Get some baseball going. 49 out of 78. Die cut. For the Grizz, Jeffrey. He's having a good season. Ooh, and an Evan Mobley autograph. Nice pen pals auto. 11 out of 35. Nice on card for Cleveland. Danny with the Cavs. Cleveland, this is for you. Nice. And if he looks good in the playoffs, that could continue to increase his value. I think he's the, uh, I think he might be the, according to Vegas anyway, the, the favorite to win Rookie of the Year. Congrats.
Yeah, I hear you, Adam. <laughs> you know what, Rex? You can tell those people that they're capable of worrying about both. <laughs> you know, unless they unless they lack the the mental capabilities to worry about both, you can't worry about both. But yeah, Adam, I, I, do you still have family out there? I mean, I, there there are there are tons of people that have relatives on relatives on both sides, so I think it makes it really difficult. So ho hopefully that gets resolved soon too. I hope so too, Steve. All right. Back to the basketball. Good luck, everybody. Let's see what we got here. So far, a good half case. I don't know what was in the first half. Ah, gotcha. Gotcha, Adam. Well, I guess in a way that's good. It's Patrick Williams, 49 out of 99. That's for the Bulls, that'll be for Leo. And there is 530 out of 999, Joe Weiskamp for the Spurs. Rick T from San Antonio. got impact impressions that's Harold Miner remember Harold Miner Miami Heat Adam S with the heat it's that old school player there The Mavs are cutting into the lead. Ooh. And they get it. Oh no. Yeah. Uh, from twenty point from a twenty point lead. Dallas has cut the lead to nine points. And we got a blue rookie card here, Josh Christopher. Ninety three out of ninety nine for Logan and the Rockets. I don't. I. I think you're wrong there, Gilo. Gilo's like, hey, KC only has NFL and MLB teams, so it's boring right now with no sports going on. What about MLS? Sporting KC. MLS season just started. Come on, that's that's offensive to the MLS team. And there's Luca Garza, rookie yearbook autograph for Detroit. Danny with the Pistons. Yeah, it turns out Luka Doncic is pretty good, right? All right, last box. Got 
Dallas with a 15-3 run in the last three minutes. Wow. So Mavericks not going down without a fight. Still two minute, two and a half minutes left in the third quarter, so still a lot of game to be played. If they can kind of win this quarter, and if they, they put them in a pretty good position here. And I think the only game left is Pelicans at Lakers. Pelicans beat the Suns the other night. So they're, they're coming in feeling pretty confident, I would imagine. Lakers not confident. So we'll have, to, we'll have to see how the Lakers do today. Kind of a brutal loss against the Clippers the other night. So hopefully they can get back on track tonight. Gilo, you should you should adopt a you should adopt a uh, NBA team. Who do the uh, like? What are people in Kansas? What basketball team do they support? Final box. Good luck, everybody. Got Paul Millsap, 45 out of 49. <laughs> And we got a Chris Duarte, 284 out of 999. Pacers rookie card for, for Jeremy Harder and his Pacers. Oh, you guys get OKC games in, in the Kansas City market. So, I mean, that they got a pretty, pretty good young team, fun team to watch. I mean, Shea Gilgis Alexander is a fun guy to watch. We pull that Dort autograph, Lugans Dort. Also a fun player to watch. There's impact impressions. Old Ralph Sampson for Logan and the Rockets. I think a, a rookie, I think it's usually old school guy and then rookie auto, right? So maybe you still have a chance at a nice rookie auto. Stand by, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see where that person is. And we got a JT Thor. Orange rookie card, 182 out of 210. For Charlotte, Brian with Charlotte. And there's the rookie, it's Josh Christopher. Both autographs, Rockets, Logan, sweeping the autos here in the final box of Pick Your Team 20, our last uh, half case break of Elite for the time being. I'm sure we're, we're on the lookout for more, so keep your eye out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Nice Evan Mobley autograph, I'll have to snap a picture of that. Thanks everybody for watching. A couple Scotty Barnes rookie cards, Jalen Johnson for the Hawks. 
There's the short print and the Blake Griffin to 10. Thanks, everybody, for watching, for breaking with us. Keep your eye out for more elite basketball on jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.